So in this next topic, uh, the Tesla Cybertruck is starting to get a lot of details being released. I mean, they're still slated for, what, a June of this year actual announcement for production starting. And there's probably going to be a delivery event where like 20 people are going to be able to take delivery of their Cybertruck. But a lot of different details are starting to get released, including the size of it, how it went from maybe a six seat now down to a five seat and much, much more. But it seems like one Tesla investor actually was able to talk to maybe someone at Tesla to talk about a lot of these details. So we'll certainly get into it. We do have a Tesla Cybertruck on order. So fingers crossed, we'll still be able to take delivery of it. I mean, there's a lot of different macro elements happening in the world right now. So, and of course, financing for this will be a lot tough, and especially if it comes in at a high price, which I have a feeling it's going to come in at like, I don't know, 80, 90, maybe even $100,000. So I'm really hoping it comes in at like 65 to 75 because that would be certainly nice. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best on Tesla at the best price. So definitely hit that subscribe if you are interested. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link, so down below in the description if you want to support the channel. So let us take a look at this. Uh, shout out to Electric for posting this article. Tesla Cybertruck size revealed. How does it compare to a Ford Raptor? And so what we've seen is Tesla reduced the size of the Cybertruck by 3% less than the prototype. So that's good because the prototype, I saw it in the LA Auto sorry, not, not at LA Auto Show, but at the museum, the Peterson Museum in LA, and it is a massive vehicle. So even a 3% reduction, I'm not sure that's uh, really going to help because it still is huge. It's very long at the end of the day, but here's give some reference on how the actual size is. If some of you know, there is a Ford F-150 Raptor, which is also a massive vehicle that just like really wide, really tall that won't fit in a lot of different spaces, but it seems like the Tesla Cybertruck is just a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller, a little bit less width than the Raptor, which I mean, if we're talking inches here, like that's really not anything in terms of actual like sizes from that. But uh, you can see here, 145 to 145.4, 231 for the length, but versus 232. So like a couple inches there. And then the width, uh, two and a half inches, a uh, little bit smaller from the width. And then of course the height because of Tesla Cybertruck, which I'm actually excited because it has air suspension will make it a lot better than uh, for comfortability and all that stuff. But there were some other things that actually got released uh, from this was that the Tesla Cybertruck will have five seats instead of six seats. And uh, what else is there? Like the bed is a lot longer than the Raptor truck and all that stuff, which is definitely nice. But I'm excited for a couple of things. I'm excited for the, there's also a big 18 inch center display in the uh, or the second row of display in the back seat, And then also this 48 volt system, which I'm not sure exactly what that means and why people are talking about that a lot. But uh, you know, this certainly seems like the Tesla Cybertruck will actually be coming out this year. That's certainly a lot more different leaks or different you know details being discussed about. We did see this crazy steering wheel, the flat top and flat bottom from before. And this this screen looks a, a lot bigger, right? So, a lot than like a usual one. So that looks like what, like a 32 inch screen? I mean, I'm just guessing from this angle right here, but definitely some pretty interesting stuff. And the other thing that we talked about where that got, actually might have been announced is that they might be going back to a tri-motor powertrain instead of a quad-motor powertrain. If you're if you're new to, to Tesla and you're new to kind of what they talk about, that a while ago when the Tesla Cybertruck was released, they announced like a single motor, a dual motor, and then also a tri-motor. But what happens was they kind of backed off on that and uh, they went to a quad motor and then they took all the pricing off the website. They took off all the trims off the website and they just said, just order and give us the $100 deposit from that. And so now, now potentially it might be going back to the tri-motor, which if I remember correctly, the tri-motor was priced at $69,990. I guess I can fact check myself after this because that if, let's, let's see, Tesla Cybertruck tri-motor initial pricing, or actually let's check our little handy dandy pricing guide to see if they put it here in anywhere. Uh, it doesn't look like they did, but I think the initial pricing was what? 16, yeah, 69,990. So if that actually comes up, I would be 
pretty excited because that is basically the price of what a Tesla Model Y performance used to be at what, $70,000? At one point it was like, yeah, $70,000. And so that would be pretty nice if they can provide that much vehicle and that much uh, for this price of, uh, it's funny, I'm saying like $70,000 is uh, affordable, I guess, or uh, I guess it is because when you look at it versus like F-150, which is like, I don't know, $80,000, $90,000, Rivian, which is like $80,000 as well, it's coming right in line, if not maybe maybe even undercutting the competition because that seems like what Tesla's MO is these days. They want to drop their price to make the vehicle a pretty much a slamming deal. And that's why there's a lot of Model 3s and Model Ys being sold right now, or especially in the Model Y. So definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know if you have a Tesla Cybertruck on order and or you're excited as well. And do you actually think it's going to be coming out this year, this summer? Uh, and uh, what also, there also is a way to see what number place you are, you're in line in terms of what by your location. So definitely some pretty interesting stuff if you're interested. Um, but we're going to jump into our, yeah, and on top of that, if it comes in at 69,990, that qualifies for this handy dandy clean vehicle tax credit, which would then reduce it another seventy five hundred dollar federal taxes, which be would be very very nice at the end of the day. Even if it comes in like what seventy five thousand, which is still under that eighty k threshold, that would be pretty interesting. Uh, that's for sure. But we're gonna jump into our live stream comments. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down in the description is the Patreon link where you support the channel. So definitely check it out if you're interested.